ask questions for clarification. We'll acknowledge your verbal treatments and indicate uh, uh, that you indicate necessary. Do you have any questions? All right, so I don't have any questions. I've checked my equipment. Uh, appears to be everything there in the monitor, and I'll be ready to begin the scenario. Let me look at my rhythm. Is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. Okay. Uh, do I have one patient? You do. Okay. Uh, my patient conscious? Uh, no, your patient is unresponsive. Okay. Sir, sir, can you hear me? Can you no. hear me? No response. No response. Make sure my crew is bringing in all their uh, necessary equipment. Uh, is the patient breathing? Open his airway? There is no breathing. Okay. I have my partner go ahead and, and try to insert an OPA and also use a BBM and I'm also checking the carotid pulse. There is no palpable carotid okay. pulse. CPR is being started by my partners. I'm going to go ahead and get the cardiac monitor. So we have an OPA in place. I've got an ag valve mask. I've also got compression started. Uh, we have a mechanical device and with the Lucas device applied at this point. Um, have the monitor on uh, with the fast patches. And what I see on the monitor is a wide complex tachycardia. I'm calling that VTAC. And I have no pulse with this. So I'm going to treat it as V-fib or pulses V-fib. So I'm going to go ahead and charge my monitor to the lowest energy setting, which is starting at 200 joules. Clear, clear, clear. Everyone is clear. Shocking the patient. Shock's delivered. Checking a pulse. I still have VTAC on the monitor. Do I have a pulse with this? You do not. Okay. Uh, compressions are started again. Uh, I'm going to need to get IV access. If I can't get IV access, I'm going to go to IO access. You have IV access established. Okay. My first drug of choice now, I'm going to use 40 units of vasopressin, IV. And I'm going to follow that up with a 10 cc flush. Uh, I'm going to defibrillate my patient uh, every, basically every pulse check is every two minutes. So we're going to continue CPR at this point. The vasopressin is being circulated. I'm going to go ahead and ready up uh, amiodarone, which is a 300 milligrams, and have that standing by. It's been, it's been two minutes. Okay, two minutes are going by. Um, still no pulse. We have, do we have a pulse with compressions? You do have good compressions. Okay, uh, go, ahead, go ahead and at this point charge up to uh, three, uh, sorry, 300, sorry, 300, excuse me. On the biphasic monitor, it's going to be 200 joules again. So I'm going to charge. Clear, clear, clear. CPR is being stopped. Everywhere is clear. Defibrillating. Okay, at this point, checking the pulse. There's no pulse. There's no pulse. Um, I now notice V-fib on the monitor. Okay, I get 300 milligrams of amiodarone is going on board. All right, so with a, a VTAC rhythm into a V-fib rhythm, uh, I'm going to consider my H and T's. At this point, um, go ahead and insert a superglottic device to help secure the airway a little bit better. Uh, we're still giving bag valve mask ventilations. Compressions are being uh, continued. Um, monitor the patient. Uh, again, at the next pulse check, which is another two minutes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have one milligram of epinephrine ready, and that's going to be my next vasopressor. Okay, it's been two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Uh, again, still seeing VFIP on the monitor. I'm going to go ahead and charge. You say you did give amiodarone? Yes, 300 amiodarone was given pre previously. Okay, we have VFIP on the monitor. Everyone is clear. Shocking. Okay. At this point, I have one milligram of epinephrine, and I can administer that. I have what appears to be a systole on the monitor. Again, checking the pulse, checking my leads, making sure that it is a systole, also verifying it in a second lead. And I do have a systole at this point. A systole means no heart activity. The only drug that I'm going to be administering at this point is epinephrine, one milligram, and that's going to be every three to five minutes. We're going to make sure compressions are still perfusing a pulse. At this point, airway with it and the tracheal tube, so we're going to remove the king tube and place an ET tube in place. Um, with the compressions, make sure they're effective. We have uh, carotid and femoral pulses with compressions. Um, consider H and T's, hypovolemia, hypoxia. Uh, with, the, with the ventilations, do we have good equal lung sounds? Absent epigastric sounds? Correct. Do we have any entitled CO2? You have entitled CO2 of 35. 35, okay. So we, how long has the patient been down? 
uh, five minutes before you go. Okay. Uh, don't consider him to be acidotic yet, but I can also have uh, sodium bicarb ready. Uh, checking on blood sugar. Does the patient have any history of diabetes? No history of diabetes. One twenty one blood sugar. Okay. Any history of any narcotic abuse or anything, anything like that? No, no. Okay. So I'm considering. I can start a fluid bolus, hypoxia, we've got that corrected, hydrogen ion, acidosis problems um, with the bicarb. I do have a change on the monitor at this point. I do see an organized rhythm. It appears to be sinus tap. Checking a radial pulse and carotid pulse. Do I have pulses with this? You do have a pulse. I do have pulses with this. First thing I want to do is obtain a blood pressure. Uh, blood pressure is uh, 90 over 40. Okay. Do I have a, a better entitled CO2 at this point? Uh, entitled CO2 is 60. Okay, it's 60. Uh, I'm going to get a pulse ox on. I also want to do a 12 lead. Pulse ox is 95%. Okay. 12 lead is a remarkable prestige. Okay. I know I haven't said it yet, but at this point, we definitely want to be starting to move towards the ambulance and get ready for transport. Okay. Um, we have a secured airway. We've got pulses back. We have ROS. We want to go ahead and consider um, some cooling, some hypothermia. So I will want to use some chilled saline as well as uh, possibly uh, uh, some ice packs around his neck, armpits, and groin area to help start cooling his body temperature down. I'm going to, uh, with a 12 lead, do I notice any uh, MIs or anything like that? No STGs. Okay, so at this point, I'm really not going to be calling a cath alert, and we'll be rapidly transporting uh, to the hospital. Okay, uh, are you complete? I've completed this station.